hello chat what is going on welcome in everybody happy tuesday welcome in welcome in uh I'm just finishing one more thing all right i think i think we're good to go let me put on the other music so a little little something in the background so it's not complete silence when i stop speaking all right what's going on gang how's everybody doing today Welcome in, welcome in. It's your favorite analogist here. Today, again, we're going over another analog horror. Started a little early so I could get the yap session over quick, and then we could jump in because this analog horror is gonna take about an hour and a half straight for us to watch. I really wanna finish it in one stream. So that is the goal today, is to finish it in one stream. I yap a lot, so an hour and a half, of just watching plus my yapping we're probably gonna go a little over two hours i hope i have said that before and then we've gone to like three but i'm gonna try to keep the yapping as minimum as minimal as possible uh i'm gonna immediately answer questions from the start for those that are asking is this stream gonna be members only after most likely this stream will not be members only after most likely unless by the end of it i'm really like damn i want to i want to do a great video on this most likely this will just be a watch stream um and yeah i think that's about it um uh so for the gamer subs the gamer subs alert i still have to check in with them and ask them about that because i don't think the sound is working still so if you guys want to buy gamer subs with my code immortal please feel free it always it does help boost the channel and whatnot so i would appreciate it but just so you know the jump scare alert might not come on i want to apologize to the people that bought on last stream and it didn't go on for but if you do still want to buy if you still want to get yourself some some energy some good flavors in your water I definitely recommend it. I'm still having mine today. I got the lemonade flavor because uh, I don't, I just can't have caffeine right now. It's too late in the day to, to start juicing on the caffeines. So I'm on a good sleep schedule right now, chat. I've been waking up at seven, going to bed at like 11. Like I've been in bed at 11, waking up at seven, going to the gym again. Been doing good, been doing good. I'm trying to stay good. I'm working on a long video right now, a long analog horror video, which I teased on Twitter like a month ago at this point. It's kept getting pushed back. But right now, this is this is it. This is the video that's getting done. Um, I wanted it to be done by tomorrow, but I do think it's going to be done by Thursday. So I talked about it slightly on some past streams, um, but I think it's going to be like an hour to an hour, an hour and a half long. So yeah, I think you guys are really going to like it though. It's a very different style from what I usually do. Because you know how like usually the analog card videos we go over, they're like 10 videos or something like that. This one is 20 videos, but they're all very short. So I kind of, instead of doing like one video at a time, I did like five videos, five videos, five videos and like chapters. So I organized it a little differently. Uh, the song at the beginning was Undefeatable. That's what it's called. It's Undefeatable from the Sonic soundtrack. Okay. All right. Um, all right. We have, <laughs> Jesus Christ. There are a few little things that I want to go over just before we start stream. Um, one, I want to wait until some more people can get in here. Cause some people Thank get the notifications late. Suggestion. It means a lot to me. No problem. It's actually, I, I realized that it had been suggested for a while. And after you suggested on the last stream and I like looked at it live, I was interested because, um, for some of you that don't know, Thank so, you, Marcus. I'm going to school to become a DR, and your vids have been my late night friend and a way to relax for a while. I just made valedictorian this semester. Hey, going to keep working hard. Okay, okay, valedictorian. Good for you. That's awesome. I wish you best of luck in your studies. Uh, I believe you said DR. That's doctor. Um, good luck. I know that's gonna be hard. I know school is very, very hard. So good luck, and I wish you the best. And I'm happy that the videos can help you relax at night. When the no marble horn rays in three mods, you don't have to watch in one go pookie. Only because you super chatted, I am gonna answer that. 
I, I, I feel like I have to do Marble Hornet season three at one point. It's just five hours long without me speaking. Five hours. And I'm not even like talking during that five hours. Like that's that's a lot to cover. It's a lot. But you guys have been going cr like it's it's got to be the most requested thing at this point just because I never finished it. Um, so. I know I have to go over it at some point. I just want to find a good time. The thing that's hard about that is that to to get to season three, a lot of you have had to watch like the first like four hours of the series that I did. So it's very hard. And I, I don't I don't know if the stream would do that greatly. You know what I mean? It's it's it, that's like two movies. And yeah, you guys are saying I could do multiple streams, but it's just like two two separate streams. It's just a lot for people to watch to catch up on. You know what I mean? But I know I have to do it at some point because it's like the most requested Greetings. thing. New analog horror creator here. You influenced me to make my series on my channel. It's taking a very long time, but it's on the way. Hey, listen, when you finish it, send it in the analog horror suggestions. Feel free to tag me. Be like, hey, I Hi, made Marcus. this and I'll it's check it my out. Birthday today, and this is the perfect way to end the day. Hey, happy birthday, Evan. Thank you so much for the super chat. I hope you had a great day today. I'm happy that this can end your day well. Hopefully we'll have a we'll have a good little watch here. But happy birthday. I hope you had a great day. Um, also, guys, check this out. So my dad uh, found this at work today. Isn't that fire? It's a little bit damaged. There's like a few marks on it. You can see up here and up here. But fun fact, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, this is actually my favorite character and my favorite form. We don't talk about Gohan in Super until he goes Beast. That Gohan is ass. But, bro, it's fire. It's a display, apparently. But I'll find another way to hang it up without the magnet. Or maybe I could, like, buy a magnet and hang it up. I don't know how that works. But I'll figure out a way. I'm thinking I'm going to put it where the 300 poster is. Because the 300 poster was kind of just there. Just because my dad gave it to me and I thought it looked cool there. But this is this fits more on my theme. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is me. I'm literally him. I'm literally him. Or the power of tape. Good point, Cookie Rat. Um, so there's that. Uh, I talked about gamer sups. Um, oh man, there was one more thing I want to. Oh, that's right. So I just got tagged in something on Instagram, and a lot of the YouTube people don't know about this. If you've been around for a long time, and when I mean a long time, I'm talking about like Twitch days, which is like before 100k subscribers. You might know who Immortal Fans is. I'll turn off the music because this is going to get a little serious for a second. Immortal Fans is an Immortal Marcus fan page. But it's not like quite the fan page that you would think. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of fan pages, you know, they like hype up their whoever they're fanning over. You know, they hype them up. They make like cool edits and stuff. I just want to show this one off. After we're done showing this off, I will jump into the watch. But Immortal Fans is back after a very long hiatus with an Easter edit. So we're going to watch that real quick. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I just This is the last I can donate as I'm not made of money lol. Love your videos. Also happy birthday Evan. Happy birthday Evan. Hold on one second. I didn't get to quite hear that one. What was that? I was going to watch this oh, no. one on my own until I saw a stream was going to happen. This is a lot better. By the way, I am the creator of Wisteria. I switched accounts. Hey, okay. Oh my, we're getting so many super chats right now. I'm a little overwhelmed. So if I don't get to you, don't worry. I will at some point during the stream. I promise. It may not be right now, but at some point I will. There's just a lot. Crow, what's going on? How are you? Welcome in. I see you. I see your super chat. Thank you for the 10. I hope you enjoy the stream we have here today. Oh my god, I can't even I can't even put words for this chat.
Thank you, Immortal fans, for the edit. The caption says, Happy late Easter, fellow Immortal clowns. I'm so sorry I just disappeared over the past few months. I got grounded because I accidentally killed my little sister's hamster. Hope you enjoy my edit. How do you accidentally kill your little sister's Hello from hamster? Pearl Here's to a good stream open mouth smile. Shout out to my guy. Shout out to my guy. If you're not subscribed, go and subscribe. Great content. Great, great content. Yeah, so if you guys want to go and support Immortal Fans' shenanigans, Immortal Fans' username on Instagram is immortal.fans. Uh, they have 89 followers, which is pretty crazy. And all of the stuff on their page is just like... Uh, essentially, edits making fun of me. Here's one of me and Corey Kenshin. Here's one of me as a clown. One, yeah, you, you get the point. You get the point. Anyway, enough of that. You guys have waited long enough. We got a ton of people in here. Let's get started. I just opened up Twitch again by accident. That is the second time I've done that. I keep hitting something on my keyboard that's doing that. Which key is it? It's FN minus? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So there's three seasons of this. We're going to go season by season. Um, there's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 videos total. Uh, I guess 14 because this one's a teaser. A um, little bit of a spoiler. This Hello series. Again, Would you be interested in watching Anamide's interloper arc at some point? Um, I feel like I've maybe heard of that before. Maybe at some point. Like I said, we have like I have like a big to-do list of analog horrors right now. So any new ones, I'm kind of putting at the bottom of the list unless something really jumps up. But feel free to tag me in in anything. Uh, shout it out in the Discord and at me. Be like, hey, check this one out. I do look at all the mentions when I can. <laughs> but we'll see we'll see um i am gonna turn off tts just for now just because i don't want it to i i do appreciate all of the super chats and everything trust me you guys know i love you guys and thank you so so much but i'm just turning them down just so um just so it doesn't necessarily ruin anybody's like horror experience you know what i mean we gotta well they'll still come up on screen and i will address them eventually during the stream but we're going to try to go through half of them. We'll take a break. I'll address all the super chats and any questions that chat may have, or we'll talk about the series a little bit, and then we'll watch the second half. But I'd like to get through all of them today. Uh, so yeah, so we got like 14 videos here, and this series is unfinished, and apparently will be unfinished forever. They were... The creator was working on the finale and they said due to the severe lack of content and news about surreal broadcast and its finale over the last year i don't think it's surprising to state that the finale is officially cancelled i'm no longer part of the analog horror community neither as a consumer nor a creator the reasons that led to this are personal and of little significance that said many thanks to everyone who joined the community and contributed to the surreal broadcast project so some of you might see this as like almost like a lost cause to watch just because there's no ending I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've heard that's still very enjoyable, regardless of not having a finish or not. So I figured we could watch it and then speculate the ending for ourselves. So, but I just want to let everybody know that I didn't want to watch like all these episodes and then be like, haha, LOL, it's not finished and never will be. Um, but yeah, I just want to let everybody know that. Uh, but respect to the creator, respect. I like they said, uh, I believe they said their reasons are personal just now. For whatever reason they did it, got to respect it got to respect your creators and support your creators where you can so yeah obviously if you guys want to go and check out the channel for yourselves the link to it is in the description down below all right let's get started uh actually i want to go season by season so let's go we're gonna do season one i'm gonna guess that they're all in order oh the huge the huge elephant in the room i almost said donkey the huge elephant in the room this apparently has to do with like spiders and stuff like that. If I have one fear, it's spiders in game, on screen, in movies. I don't care what it is. I'm horrified of spiders. So I might be a little wuss in this one compared to usual. So, uh, yeah, it's just an FYI. <laughs> and like I said, I haven't seen much from this at all. Uh, the thumbnail for this video is actually inspired from a screenshot that I had seen of a surreal broadcast video where it looks kind of similar to what I made in the, in the thumbnail, but not necessarily as accurate, but you'll see. All right, here we go. Surreal broadcast. Or 
RNI, RNA, 1991. Volumes up, there are no captions. We put this in the HD. Let's get it. Safest property of Burke Salt Community School. Do not copy. RNA by Stephanie Newman. I'm definitely pronouncing this wrong. Spiders are animals with eight legs, known for weaving silk webs. They use the webs to catch insects. Spiders are found worldwide on every continent except for Antarctica. They're the largest order of arachnids. Physical characteristics. Most of the spiders range from 5 millimeters to 9 centimeters in length. It was believed that the tarantulas were the biggest. It was believed that they were the biggest? Spiders have four pairs of legs. A spider's body is divided into two parts. Let's learn about some species of spiders. Great. American house spider. I'm not reading that name. <laughs> Usually found in North America. The American house spider is a comb-footed spider, a common type known for its webs. They're part of a group known as cobweb spiders, usually built- I'm not done yet! Usually building the webs in places like basements, closets, and crawl spaces. I'm sorry, Joy. <laughs> I guess Marcus is gonna move to Antarctica? If it wasn't so cold, probably. I'm not gonna lie. Color, brown, tan, or grayish with darker brown patterns. Size, four millimeters to nine millimeters. Features, rounded abdomen. Tarantula. I hate, uh. Usually found in. Tarantulas comp comprise a group of large and often hairy spiders of the family. Therophosidae. 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 Yeah. Therophosidae. I don't know, man. I'm not a. I'm not a spider expert. I'm just a human with some reading issues. So bear with me. Currently, about a thousand species have been identified. A thousand, bro. Like why? Just die. I don't. I don't like spiders. I hate. I hate them. I don't care what size they are. I hate all of them. Anything that's like that's spider-like, I really hate. Like even some certain types of crabs bother me because they kind of remind me of spiders a little bit. Have you guys been seeing that video that's been going viral about the giant crabs on stairs? I think that's, um, like fake. But still, it, that video bothers me. Yeah, why can't there be a thousand spiders in the world? I'd rather take that. Color, varying shades of black or brown. Size, 11.4 to 28 centimeters. Yacht. Thing. Found in Berksot Forest. Very specific location. Extremely aggressive hunt normally during the night. I also believe that this series takes place in Maine Produces certain audio frequency that can cause audio and visual hallucinations. Do not believe in anything that it's Do not believe in anything that it's say it is not real if you find it, please isolate it and call the authorities How big is this thing? Black with orange stripes. One to three meters. So hold on. Let's just look up something. Just 
just so we could get a size comparison. Okay, so I googled three meters long. <laughs> Bro. Get the out of here, bro. Okay, apparently a guitar is a meter long. So that'd be the equivalent of three guitars. I'm not sure how true this is. I'm just looking up on Google, so take it with a grain of salt. 62 year old woman keeps three meter long hair. So they're they're pretty big. They are pretty big. Disgustingly large. That's not even a spider anymore. That's just like a. I don't even know. It's bigger than a dog. What, what could you compare that to like an animal size? No, it doesn't say the features either. I, I do and don't want to see what it looks like. In case you have been bitten, going to the hospital is useless. Isolate yourself in a room with any flammable liquid and a lighter and let it burn. Ooh, so it doesn't just kill you because they want you to, you know, die yourself. RNA. Is it RNA? RNA? Is there an actual? Let me look up what that word means. How did I actually still spell that wrong? R N E. Oh, it's a type of spider. Oh, that just means spider. Spider in another language? Well, I feel stupid now. Check descriptions. Warning, arachnophobia. <laughs> The tape produced by Stephanie Newman, daughter of Fred Newman, owner of Newman's Pet Shop, was originally a school work project. Interesting. Okay. So basically in that one, we learned that... Ooh. Basically in that one, we learned about some spiders, and we learned that there is a specifically large spider. What did they call the name of it again? Did they even give us a name? No, it was just called Thing. It's one to three meters long. Um, it could produce audio and visual hallucinations. Um, if you find it, try to isolate it, call authorities. And if it bites you, it's basically GG. Just set yourself on fire at that point. Copy. All right, let's move on to the next one. Surreal Broadcast Radio. The description for this one says the tape found in Berksaw Police, a uh, Berksaw Public Library in an old box dated back 1987. The tape was modified. The original content was deleted by half. So half of it was deleted. Um, and this this video takes place or was created four years before the last one. Let's run it. WXVC Productions. Komodo dragons can reach up to three meters. Interesting. That's really large. A brief introduction to radio. Radio works by transmitting and receiving electromagnetic waves. You know what, Evolution? It's a good point. The only spider that I want to bite me is the one that bit Spider-Man. That is the only one that would be useful in my eyes. I'm I'm apologizing to all the spider lovers out there. I I just can't do it. Luke Skywalker, check out my analog horror series. Listen, at me in the Discord. This goes for everybody that's making an analog horror series, by the way. You guys know I love watching them and I try to make videos on a ton of them. If you make your own analog horror series, I will try to check it out and watch it. There's no guarantee I'll make a video on it, but I will try to watch it and if I do, I will comment on it. Just so you know that I did see it. But feel free to put it in the Discord and at me. Discord, thank you, Cole, is in chat right now. The link to it. Or you can check the link in the description as well. The radio sign is an electronic... Sorry. The radio sign is electronic current moving to and fro rapidly. A transmitter emanates this field outward using a receiving wire. A beneficiary at the point gets the field and interprets it to... Bro, listen... Do I read too slow? Chat. 
A beneficiary at the point gets to the field and interprets it to the sounds heard through the radio. Don't microwave your hamster. Ooh, top secret. Only authorized personnel. In, I think that says, that looks like that says 43, right? But it's purposely kind of like, rrr. I'm going to say 43, though, for now. In 1943, a strange frequency was bouncing in the region of Berksot with anomalous properties. The frequency produces strange images that can cause paranoia, intense fear, and anxiety if stared for a long time. If this frequency interrupts the transmission, stop it immediately. Listen to a sample of the frequency without its anomalous properties. The frequency shows interaction with electronic devices, such as television, radio, and others. The following experiment was recorded in... That I definitely cannot read. Experiment Television ID 130, Part 1 of 3. No abnormalities detected. No, there are no notes. Okay. Good note. Experiment television ID 130, part two of three. Okay, this time the television turned on. Abnormalities detected, note, contact. Part three of three. I know what you did. Abnormalities detected. Note. Serial broadcast. Okay. Um. So yeah, we do have a hand like peeking up here. That one's that one's a little confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I obviously don't know what this person did that they, but the TV does. Um, they said that they were like receiving a mysterious signal with, you know, abnormal properties or anomalous properties. I would say that's gotta be from the thing, right? The, the other spider creature, because they said that what was the specific wording they used. They said that the thing Produces audio frequency that can cause audio and visual hallucinations. I guess they didn't say that it could do that through technology though, right? But it is a frequency? So I don't know. It is giving Local 58 for sure. I know that was a big criticism on this series was a lot of people compared it to Local 58 just because of the style of it is somewhat similar. But listen. I, I can't really I, I don't mind when analog horrors take inspiration or maybe a little similar to other analog horrors actual movies do it all the time and movies come out as pure slop so as long as I can enjoy it let it take all the inspiration it wants you know what I mean as long as it's not copying and pasting exactly what it is 
Um, I did want to look up. Angel said the big star arachnid is a Goliath bird eater. I'm totally going to regret putting this in my Google search history. Okay, bro. Like, that's a dog. <laughs> that's a small, that's a small dog, bro. Like, no. <sighs> like, that's literally... They literally say... Oh, okay. All right. Maybe I shouldn't be showing this. I just saw one eating a bird. Um, Obviously, it's a bird eater, it's called. But... I don't know. That This is, this is one of the reasons... I'm sorry to my Australians. This is one of the reasons I'm never going to go to Australia. I've seen your videos of you guys showing like you in a room and there's like a giant ass spider on the wall and you guys are like, well, it's better not to kill it because it actually kills all the other things in the house. Yeah, no thanks. Not doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, my arachnophobia is too high to worry about that. I get scared of ones this big. Imagine one like this big. I'd literally die. Like there's, there's no way. We're not going to be low. I see, I see other people in chat recommending other spiders to look up. No, thank you. I don't need to go on Instagram later and then get a spider ad or something because now Google thinks that I'm connected to spiders. No, thank you. They need to know that I am afraid of spiders and don't want to get more near them. No, I get that spiders are good for the environment and they have a spot in the ecosystem, but I don't really care. I kind of wish that the universe, whoever you want to say created us and the ecosystem and earth, I wish that they just like, you know, whoop, just like took them out of there and like bridge that gap. No, thank you. Or like they could keep spiders, but just, I don't know, make them look less creepy, less scary. I know I'm not the only one that has arachnophobia, but I guess you could make the argument that there's phobias for like everything. So anyway. I could go on a rant for this for hours. Next video is Surreal Broadcast, Unusual Tour Guide, Tour Guide, Unusual Tour Guide, 1989 1991. The description says the tape was produced by Sunprise, a, tours a tourism company that strangely offers just one destination, Berksot Forest. The tape was found in a camcorder with a bunch of camping gear and clothes. Okay, so that's interesting. So produced by Sunprise, a tour, a touring company, but they only offer a tour of Berksot Forest, where we know this thing is only from. They said that that giant spider creature, the thing, is only from Berksot Forest. And this tape was found in a camp quarter with a bunch of camping gear and clothes. So I'd like to argue that whatever happened to the people that had this camp quarter were probably on one of these tours. Let's see. Oh no, there's copyrighted music in this. All right, if anybody's watching the VOD for this and it gets muted, okay, better yet, if the stream goes down, it will come back up. I will start streaming again. Just go back to my channel page because there is a chance depending on how copyrighted this is, but we're going to risk it for the biscuit. Here we go. Sunprise Tourism Company. Company. Tired of the city? Want something more natural and relaxing? So you should come to... Berksot Forest. Being the biggest forest in the region, with beautiful lands and too fast of text, being the biggest forest in the region with beautiful landscapes, lakes, it is perfect for adventurous people. In this inform- In this- I'm sorry, it's one of those days. In this informative tape, you will see... 
accommodations, pathways, campsites, safety rules, and much more. Part one, accommodations. This is giving Gemini home entertainment right now for me. Bergsalt. Bergsalt is a small town next to the Bergsalt forest that will attend all of your necess ne necessities. Motels in the city. Pine Hub Motel. Bergsalt Motel. Ooh, price per night 85, price per night 80. Okay, that's the dresses. I don't know, chat, which one are you staying at? Piney Hub or Berksot? Piney Hub is a little bit more expensive, so maybe Berksot, because they do look very similar, right? But Piney Hub got the name Piney Hub, you know what I mean? Like they spiced it up a little bit, so you're paying the five dollar for the for the name. All right, never mind. Everybody's saying Berksot, or a lot of people are saying Berksot. Well, I'm seeing a few Piney Hubs in there. Shout out my Piney Hubs. Isolate Director, what's going on? What food is near each? Cole asking the big questions here. It all depends on what it's closest to. If there's some good food across the street, you know where I'm staying. For right now, though, I'm going to say Piney Hub. Special restricts. Restricts? Do not leave your hotel after 12 a.m. Do not turn on your television after 12 a.m. You're the ah no 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 no. The infringement of these rules will result in federal law punishment. All right, chat. Maybe we shouldn't stay at either hotel. How about that? Now, eighty-five a night is actually kind of great, right, for a hotel. I feel like I've never seen a price that low. Part two: pathways. Unless I'm checking the wrong hotels, chat. All right, restricted area, campsite, pathways, the lake. And I can't read what that last one is. Bergsalt Forest has three pathways. Kind of a small forest I'm getting the vibe for here. Do not leave them. In Bergsalt Forest, there's a lot of things to do. In this list, you will see the most famous spots in the forest. What is that? That's the second that I think that's like the second or third time I've seen that now. Yeah, I can't really tell what's on screen here. You could see kind of like a I don't know, there's like something going on here, a line here, and then a line here. Conwin Cove Lake. With the most crystal water, Conwin Cove Lake is the best for both fishing and swimming. That is a very nice view. And if you could swim in that, that's awesome. Greenshine Greenhouse, a greenhouse in the middle of the forest with the most exotic and beautiful plants. Eh. Not really interested, personally. Rixalt Forest Observation Tower. I can't look about at one of these without thinking of, um, what's the game? Where you work in a fire tower. And you're like... Observing the forest for fires. It's a very emotional game. Firewatch. Thank you, Rabu. Um, yeah, Firewatch is fire. Firewatch is a fire game. And um, Iron Bark Lookout, I think of too now from Fierce to Fathom. Yep. Firewatch is a great game. I highly recommend that if you haven't played that before. If you like single player story games, you will love that. It's not super action -y, but it's got a very, very great story. have a spectacular view of the Bergsoft Forest. Yeah, I definitely want to go in one of these just to like, say I've been in one after playing those games. It seems like such a vibe until it gets to nighttime. Part three, campsites. Ooh, the video did not like the campsites. 6.47 PM, January 2nd, 1991.
It was odd. Camp A. Situated at 10 meters of the Conwin Cove Lake, Camp A has a stunning view perfect for those who want to enjoy Conwin Cove Lake. Fire site. Camp C, situated deeply into the woods, Camp C is perfect for those who want to experience the true wilderness of the Berksalt Forest. Um. Hold on, four minutes in. Campsite, campsite. Oh, that's interesting. The map only shows two campsites, too. All right, so this must be campsite A, and this must be campsite C, right? It would have to be, because there's no campsite B here. I'm guessing campsite B used to be in this restricted area. It's interesting. I like that we do have a map so we could really like try to visualize what's going on. I'm definitely going campsite A though. Safety rules, restrict area. Let me hear it, let me hear it. Yeah, maybe we'll get to hear about what happened to campsite B eventually. January 2nd, 1991, 9.32 p.m. So this is three hours after the last footage we saw. Is that a light? The east side. The east side of the Berksaw Forest is currently closed due to dangerous animals such as bears and snakes and dangerous flora. Cap. For your safety, stay at least 200 meters away from the fence. Oh, it's fenced off too. If you notice anything strange, feel that you are in danger or lost, stay calm and follow the following instructions. One, call the authorities. Do not hesitate. Talk to the nearest guard. They will always be there for you. So there's guards actively patrolling the gate. Two, try to find a pathway. If you lost yourself, try to find a pathway the, as quickly as possible. Three, check the time. If it's past midnight, hide immediately. Okay, so obviously the reason why Berksaw Town wants you in by 12 is because they're they're afraid of whatever's in the restricted area. Okay, we got a red light there. Ooh! Wait, that's gotta be important, right? Yeah, why would they make it turn green last second? Ah, I didn't mean to skip. Safety tips. Again. Four, strange sounds. If you hear strange sounds in the forest, cover your e cover your ears. <laughs> cover your ears. The effects of the sound in humans is still unknown. So again, obviously the thing is causing all of this. Five webs? Three minutes to midnight. Heard someone screaming. Six clothes. If you find clothes all over the floor and in the trees, get out immediately. Seven, the eyes. If you find eyes in the darkness, there are zero chances of survival. They found you. Resistance is futile. Oh, succumb to the what? Succumb to the mother. It's 
It's 12. It's midnight. Unusual tour guide. Shout out Red Diamond. I really like I really like the presentation here. But honestly, my only comments is the spelling errors on some things or like, you know, some slight errors in the text, but I can't argue that I wouldn't do the same thing probably. Um yeah, so I'm guessing these are the eyes here. It also kind of explains what this effect is that we saw like a few times during the video. This must be the distortion that the thing. I'm just going to call it the thing. For now, because that's what they called in the first video, the giant three meter spider. Um, the thing must cause this is the like the distortion that it causes. So that's what we're seeing. And this must be the eyes of it. So I'm guessing two eyes and then a mouth. But don't spiders kind of have like how many eyes do they have? Four? Am I wrong? It is interesting that they say succumb to the mother. So I wonder if these things grab you and then bring you back to a larger or more, or more motherly like type eight, six, sometimes eight. I guess it's dependent on the spider. Either way, they usually have more than two. See, this is how you know I don't look at spiders very often. <laughs> eight eyes is crazy. What do they got to see with all that? Come on. Just use two, bro. You don't need eight. <laughs> uh, that was another good video, though. I'm liking the series a lot. I'm liking the presentation. Um... Oh. So John Burt is the number one comment on this video. And he says, I'm presuming uh, he says the language content. I had been presuming that was the result of the videos being produced by non-human entities with an imperfect grasp on their praised language. If it is in fact the result of the creator's own imperfect English, I think it actually serves the purpose I imputed to it at well. So I guess what they're saying is that there's a possibility that it's not actually humanly produced. Which is interesting because um, whatever did communicate on the TV did speak English, right? I don't know, just throwing things out there. Hollow Walls, what's going on? I see you in chat. How you doing, my friend? Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, bug spray is not helping our situation here. How do you become a member? Um, so on mobile, on mobile, it's very hard to become a member. Usually if you click on my channel page, you'll see the subscribe button and then you'll see something that says join. You could usually join off of that or there should be a link in the description actually. Uh, but I highly recommend doing it on like a desktop or a computer. It's a lot easier. YouTube's very finicky still with the memberships on mobile. Hold on. I got to move my, uh, my display here. Let me put it. I think that's good. Okay. Um, was the green flashing Morse code, um, that single green light flashing? I don't think so. Cause there's just a red, then, then a green once I saw, if it was flashing a bunch, a bunch, I would guess so. I think the radio tower, wait, did the radio tower just blink? It, it actually blinked. I thought it was just red and then went green. Well, let's go back and take a look. Oh, it does it does make a single noise is that blinking No. Okay, I'm not tripping. I I, I do think it means something. I, I think we're thinking too deep into it. Um. 
so they're saying like 12 like 12 midnight is like the time like if it's after that time you're pretty much screwed you got to get out of there you got to run something's not something not good is happening so i i want to say that this light is for something else because it's 11 it's 10 57 here why would it blink at 10 57 motion detection could be it could be that it does detect that one of them is out maybe they can come out before midnight i don't know i'm sure uh, i'm sure it's in there for a reason though and we'll find out why i don't want to think too deeply into it though i don't i don't think it's necessary Would you ever cover the sun vanished? I definitely would like to. The sun vanished is very interesting. Um, that's a Twitter ARG, right? The sun vanished, if I'm thinking of the same thing. Yeah, I agree. I feel like the town doesn't know much about what's going on either. They have like a specific like set of things that they know to worry about like don't go out after midnight and that's pretty much it like they try to they try to help people understand the best that they can but they, i don't think they they know too much about what's going on either but uh, let's keep watching this is we got two more episodes for this season god damn it's 650 already bro we're, we're only five in i guess we're almost one third of the way through which is good Tales of Berksot. Actually, hold on. Let me read the description. The tape, Colleen, the, the tape, Colleen, the tape contains a collection of three stories for children. After further investigation, it was con con concluded that they were all true. Jimmy Williams disappeared on February 13th, 1974. On March 12th, all the children and the teacher were found dead in the classroom. The cause of death is still unknown. External fonts suggest that this tape could be related to a local cult. Ooh. Yes, there is no company registered as like a home video in the USA. All right, uh, we'll watch it and then go back through that again. That was a good amount of info there. Saves property of Bricksaw Forest Community School. Like a home video. Tales of Berksot For kids By the way, thank you guys 2,000 people here right now is insane Berksot is an old place Rich with stories and traditions Let's learn about the origins of Berksot and its stories Okay, we got a jam right now Hold on, is this copyrighted? No, it's not in the past, the Berksot region was in its <laughs> in the past the Berksot region was in its majority uninhabited, with just a few farmers living in the region that in the future would be Berksot. 1880 to 1921. So we're getting a little town history here. The true founders of Berksot. But unfortunately, they found something not suitable for such weak minds. Echoing through the what? Echoing through the cursed woods. Interesting. So even in like the late 1800s, early 1900s, this thing was around. Story one, the adventures of little Jimmy.
Little Jimmy was a happy boy in a happy family. One day, little Jimmy got out to play in the forest, even knowing that a thunderstorm was coming. Goofy ass Jimmy. He ran and ran through that woods, as happy as ever. How much time has already passed? Minutes? Hours? Days? He didn't care. So little Jimmy looked up and saw those scary clouds coming after him and knew it was time to go home. But he got so distracted running through the forest and forgot which way was home. Little Jimmy remembered something that his dad said to him to never get out of the house during a thunderstorm or something really bad is going to happen. Jimmy saw an observation tower and concluded that he would be safe there. As Jimmy walked through the forest in the direction of the observation tower, he heard some raindrops and his anxiety got bigger and bigger. Jimmy encountered something, something that he will never forget. Look closer, little Jimmy. What lies down there? Hold on. Wait, I'm going to go back frame by frame. Was there text at the bottom there? No, but there, those are the eyes. Little Jimmy has made a friend. Story two, the wacky television. Okay, so yeah, so Jimmy clearly never made it. In the description, it said that Jimmy did actually die. Uh, let me just verify what year he died. Jimmy Williams disappeared on February 13th, 1974. So 74 is one of the earliest incidents that we uh, that we know about. Other than that, like, what was it? The radio frequency in like 44 or something? Now that I'm wondering, though, what did it say 1944 before? But this is 1974. I wonder if that was the same year. Anyway. um, Yes, yeah, so that's a true story. And he did disappear and they never found him, I guess. Okay, I have thoughts, but I'm going to save them until after. The Berksall Community School, the teacher of the young, younger students left the classroom and advised the students do not touch the television during the storm. Very stubborn students decided to turn on the television. That's the same television that we saw in the second video. The static coming from the television invaded the room. After a while, two hands popped out of the screen. The students were scared and started screaming. The teacher ran into the room to turn the television off, but even after the teacher unplugged the television, it was still on. The secretary who was passing by heard the screams and decided to see what was going on. She screamed when she saw all the students and the teacher convulsing on the floor.
Okay, you can't no, you can't just go on to story three. Um, there was a little bit of flashing imagery there. I just want to make sure it's nothing like important. No, it doesn't look like it's just yeah, it's just coloring. And then there was one for the eye photo here too, I think. Oh, was it when the eye came on screen? Hold up. Yeah. Okay. It's not it's not anything crazy. Story three, our savior. On the night of August 25th, 1921, something came to Earth. The vibrant green burning the eyes of who's there to look at it. So beautiful. Green. It is calling me. It is calling me. The thing came, and in its womb, it carried the own devil's daughter. Tales of Berksot. It's a real broadcast. Alright, hold on. Let's... What was that image there? I can't even see what that is. Marcus, thank you for becoming a member. Hell no is right, brother. What is that? These also look like spikes. Like almost like this is in some kind of cave or something. Oh, maybe an egg. Okay, that's a good theory. I could see it being some kind of like bugged out egg. It's hard to tell what that is. Um, I do think, so the very interesting part is that it's a collection of three stories for children. And it's concluded that they were all true. So everything that happened in this is factual. And the company, there, there is no company registered as Leica Home Video in the US. So the company is fake. So who made the video? I think that does kind of prove that it could be possible that whatever these creatures are, whatever is causing this, um, could be, it could be created by them, by these spiders or something, perhaps, because if they can mess with like radio frequencies and stuff, it wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt if they could like make videos, it would also make sense of the spelling errors or some word errors and stuff like that. Because think about it, if they just say that Jimmy disappeared, it, and I would think that they don't know how he disappeared. So how would someone know that Jimmy found this hole and that he found a friend? I saw someone spoil in chat that eventually we do find out what's in the hole and how the hole and what like what's up with that. So I am very interested to see that. Um, but yeah, so Jimmy disappears. What was the other thing it said in the description? March 12th, all the children and the teacher were found dead in the classroom. The cause of death is still unknown. And then they said this was on what date? August 25th, 1921. Ooh, which does land in this time period. Because it says 2 
the confusing part for me is that like even the even the like television frequency right like the static like bugging out making the kids die from them hearing it or whatever makes sense to me it's the human hands coming out of the screen which confuses me like if this is alien why are there actual human hands coming out of the screen you know what i mean like there's there's something that we're missing we're missing a piece here a lot of this makes sense something comes down from space lands in the Berksod forest it turns out to be some kind of giant spider creature that has the power to mess with your vision and your audio understanding it also messes with technology a little bit but human hands coming out of the screen maybe it's jimmy that's not a bad theory Otherwise, yeah, I get it because they think because if you think about it, right, the only reason why I think like it could have to do with Jimmy is because they specify that Jimmy disappeared on February 13th and then on March 12th, that happened to all those kids. And they don't say the year, like they don't say March 12th, 1995 or whatever. They say Jimmy Williams disappeared on February 13th, 1974 and on March 12th all the children and the teacher were found dead in the classroom. So like, it's almost like they're connected and they want to show you how close together those events were. So that is interesting. All right, uh, let's jump into the next one, which is Surreal Broadcast 1989 Incident. Um, and that is, this is the season one finale, this one. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> uh, all right. So my th my theory on why the text is wrong in some of the videos or the spelling is a little wrong could be completely off because in the notes for this one, it says uh, in the description for this one, it says notes through the video. You may notice some grammatical errors and misspelled words. This is because I'm still learning English. I started to learn English some months ago and measurements are being taken to prevent these errors from happening again. Please try to please try to overlook these errors and enjoy the content respect i appreciate the note um and then i believe this is the lore description despite despite the, it, the enigmatic messages and images this tape gives us a lot of information to know what happened on august 12th 1989 this is the first tape of two tapes to explain what happened on august 12th so this is the first of two tapes and it's considered the 1989 incident you yeah, know, English is hard. I, I can appreciate a creator um, making a series in another language that they may not fully know. I respect the grind. Right, here, we see. here we go. Anne Murray, hello. This one's wild. All right, I'm excited. Eleven fifty three p.m. on Saturday. Fifty nine degrees Fahrenheit. Foggy night. A gremlin with art, thank you for becoming a member. Commercial break. New super discounts. $9.99, $29.99, $69.99. The best camping gear. Wild hike, Berksaw, 2973, Spinnaker Lane. Oh. Today, 12th of August, 1989, 10.35 p.m. local in the hospital of Berksot, a patient demonstrated strange symptoms caused by an animal bite. The animal has to be yet, has yet been identified. Please, if you are feeling any of these symptoms, shaking, high fever, hallucinations, nonsensical speak or or abnormal or abnormalities in the eyes please go to the nearest hospital any suspicious behavior must be reported to the police stay tuned for further information uh and you're not going to catch me lacking there because i feel like that was also to throw me off from what was in the background because I, I did notice Lake a home video, which we know is a fake company. 
interesting the the bite was at 10 35 p.m local in the hospital oh so they're selling the three fun story tapes okay that's interesting they're also selling one called stars in architecture what interesting set of videos. Berksaw stories, stars, and architecture. Okay. Uh, I do want to see the symptoms again. Shaking, high fever, hallucinations. Nonsensical speech or abnormalities in the eyes. Okay. Uh, I think it said the tapes were 1099. Ooh, architecture had the tower. Good point out. Uh, tonight's schedule, Beyond the Paranormal by James Hutt. 12.30, local forecast. 12.45, cinema night. Tonight's movie, The Thing. Uh, I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure how many people know this. The Thing is an actual movie. And there was even a Thing remake slash sequel. Uh, I personally have not seen the original, but I have seen the remake slash sequel. Uh, and I think it's very good. Yes, transmission. A local authority issued a blue warning for your area. Follow the necessary instructions. A local authority issued out. Oh. Berksaw, Great Fields, Grove Cross. Effective until 6 a.m. Please stand by. I'm sorry, that's right. Um, it is it is a prequel, not a sequel. The remake. This is a blue warning scenario. All the residents of Berksalt must act now. Remain indoors. Do not investigate any noises coming from outside. Close all windows. Do not panic. There is nothing there. Forget. Any sus suspicious behavior must be reported to the police. Um, I have to go back. Knowing analog horror, it wouldn't surprise me if the text here changed. But no, it is the same. Simon, hello, how are you? Thank you for the super chat. Signal lost. Signal detected. Gunshots can be heard all throughout Berksot. Purple warning. Wasn't it a blue warning before? What's a purple warning? Effective immediately. Remain indoors. Do not look outside. The police is authorized to exterminate anyone at the streets in this moment. Twenty-four people confirmed dead. Six police officers, twelve civilians. Do not look at the field. Stay away from the forest. The following message is being broadcast to Berksalt Hospital. There is something wrong with them. Their eyes are indescribable. Show me. The situation is out of control. Please help us. Something woke up. In the forest. 
our savior is angry. They are coming from the fields. They are coming from the fields. Okay. Okay. Um, so that is uh, what I tried to recreate with my thumbnail a little bit. Uh, now that now that you've seen that, you probably can kind of see the comparison a little bit. You know, it's like a spider-like creature, and they got like the three glowies, and I, I did the same thing for the thumbnail, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's interesting. So this was a specific incident where it seemed like, like all throughout, right? All throughout the videos that we've been seeing, they're kind of telling you how to avoid this, like how to avoid, you know, getting bitten, running into these things, whatever. But this seems like an incident where it really got out of hand and started almost like a mass attacking the public. They say that something woke up or that the creator woke up, I believe. In the forest, our savior is angry. Something woke up in the forest, our savior is angry. So... The savior, whatever that is, I'm guessing that I want to guess that might be the mother. Because they did say it's to come to the mother and I want to guess that the mother is probably at the highest of the totem pole for this. So I'm going to say that might be the savior too. Maybe, maybe not. Could be wrong. Um, but. He, she, whatever they are, is pissed. Whoever they are is pissed. Um, it seems like one person got bit. And I wonder if it's like an infection thing because it's a lot of people are dead now. Uh, they're saying that things are getting crazy at the hospital. Obviously, we know how bad the infection gets. They literally said at one point, like, if you do get bit by one of these things, it's GG. Like, call it quits. Set yourself on fire because that's the only way. So, and that is apparently, um, this is one of two tapes explaining what happened on August 12th. So we will get another tape. I'm not sure if it's going to be the next one or a future tape. Let me see. Let me take a look at season two. Okay, so season two. Season two tapes are 1959, 2004, 1996, 1967. And then there is the fourth one it says 1989, which is the same year as that one. So that might be part two to that incident. But um, we'll see. Either way, I'm going to run P real quick, chat. Um, take a little break. So if you guys want to grab a snack, go to the bathroom. Do that now. Go P. When I come back, I'm going to read through a few of the super chats. And then we'll continue with season two and season three. But we got through season one. So nice. I'm very interested so far. I like the fact that it's spider related. We're getting fed like very little bits of info at a time. And again, I don't feel like I have everything figured out, which is a nice feeling. Makes me still want to watch. But all right. Here we go. Be right back.
All right, chat, we're back. I'm gonna read over a few super chats and then we're gonna continue. Uh, the song name right now, this is from Sessions Star Guardian Talia. It's a creator safe collection uh, by Riot Games Music. Riot Games Music. It's like a two hour long connect, uh, collection of songs that are like all like this vibe. So I like because it's very chill, very peaceful. I'm going to read some of the super chats now. Um, we cheat kits. Thank you for the 10. I've been super sick the past few days and I've been watching your videos to feel better. This is also the first time I've made it to one of your streams. I love your content. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you can make it to the stream. This is a pretty good one because we're covering a very nice series today. So thank you so much to making it. Um, I hope that you start feeling better though. I'm so sorry to hear how sick you are. I was sick recently for like a week and a half. It felt like or two weeks almost. So I definitely can understand how much that sucks. I hope you can get over it soon. Don't forget to wash your hands. That definitely helps. Washing hands to not get sick again. Rue, thank you for the MX $50. I don't know what currency that is, but thank you so, so much. I'm covering my shift and I cannot tell you how much your stream slash videos help me get through the day. I'm happy that they can help you get through them. Them long shifts can suck, but I'm happy that you could watch. Just don't, don't get in trouble while you're on your shift, you know? Hannah, thank you for the 10. Thank you for making a very long workday so much better. Also, Lucas the Spider is a very cute 3D animated spider if you ever want to look him up. I actually think I know what spider you're talking about. So the spider with the really big eyes, he looks kind of cute. I still hate him <laughs> just because of, I'm sorry. I hate him for who he is. Uh, a gremlin with art. Thank you for the two. Uh, talk about infestation. Now for, it sounds like that in that last video, they were like infesting the town almost. And that's why they were like, do not go outside. If you go outside, you're basically being shot on sight because you're probably infected like or bitten. Uh, do you want to say thank you for the two as well? Spiders look like they could shoot lasers. I mean, yeah, with those eyes and that mouth. I think it's weird that they have like, like the two eyes glowing. Okay. But the mouth glowing is odd to me. Even when I was making the thumbnail and I was replicating that scene, I was like, that's interesting. I don't know. Maybe they can shoot some lasers at you. Raging Finn, thank you for the two. Was that the eye from Gemini Home? I saw a lot of you saying that there are a lot of comparisons to Gemini Home, like the eyes and stuff. So this, this is that de I've definitely heard it's very heavily inspired by local 58 and, um, Gemini home. You've been yeah, there. That was another super chat you made. Yo, is this local 58? <laughs> um, sunshine. Thank you for becoming a member. Looked like spiders in TV behind the human hand. Really? I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Paul Finch. Thank you for the two. Hi, Marcus. I'm back again. Domesticate the the spiders. No, no spiders here. None allowed. None allowed. I needed another good spider horror game, though. As much as I hate playing them, they are, I feel like, very entertaining for you guys and very scary for me. So I do feel like it makes very good content. So I definitely I definitely want to uh, get another spider game. If you guys know any, please at me in game suggestions in the discord. I've played a few of them on the channel before, and I feel like those are some of my favorite videos ever. Oh, Lethal Company does have like a spider type bug, right? Oh, Gremlin with R, thank you for becoming a member. Lazarus Ivan. Thank you for the five. In this universe, the spiders roll up a newspaper and hit you. <laughs> you know, instead of the other way around. That'd be crazy. A situation like that. Even a game like that, I think would be funny. If you were like a human running around like a kitchen and there was like a giant spider like trying to whack you with a newspaper. <laughs> That's a funny concept. Ouija Kits, thank you for another $10 super chat. Thank you so, so much. Um, Angel again, thank you for that $2 super chat about the bird eater before so that we could look at it. Uh, literally the sweetest. Happy early birthday. I will not be streaming tomorrow, so I'm going to say to you today, happy early birthday. Also, Ben, Ben Lexon, thank you for the dollar super chat. Um, do you want to sit? Thank you for the two dollars. Eight legged freaks. That's what spiders are. Yali, thank you for the membership for 27 months. I hope there's a spider in your pillow tonight. You're fired for that statement. Soren, thank you for the five. I just found you yesterday and I figured you may like a web series called Marble Hornets.
so... <laughs> I will explain that, Soren. Um, we... <laughs> Soren, um, I have watched Marvel Hornets. It's actually on the channel. They're stream VODs. We watched them on stream before. We watched season one and two. I haven't watched season three yet, and chat has begged me to cover season three, which I will cover eventually. I don't know when, but eventually I will have to because chat's gonna force me to at one point. They're gonna come kidnap me and make me stream it. Uh, Weechi Kids, thank you for another five. I forgot to add a message for the last one, but my birthday was a couple days ago. Can I get a late happy birthday? Happy late happy birthday, Weechi Kids. I got you. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Rotato Potato, thank you for the two domesticated spider aliens. Hell no, they could get out of here. Wipe them off the planet. I'm usually not a fan of humans attacking aliens when they're peaceful, but these things are not peaceful and they're not cute looking. So get them off. <laughs> get them out of here. Um, all right. Let's jump back in, shall we? Marcus Sheeran, thank you for the two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Always appreciate your support, Marcus Sheeran. All right, so we're starting season two of Surreal Broadcast, The Cursed Days, 1959. This one's called Film Reel Found in Blank's House. It is literally, there is no name. It just says blank. So this fil film reel was found in Blank's house. Blank was arrested in 1959 for the murder of Officer Jackson Peter. Due to this, the police denied the existence of this film reel. Skis, thank you for the $2 super chat. And do you want to say thank you for the $2 super chat as well? Starship Troopers. I don't care what these things came from. They can die. Badish Man, thank you for the two. Mark, when are you going to Pine Barrens? Um, so I did I, I did talk to the creators about it, and they said that there are a few to, a few things that they could show me in Pine Barrens. So maybe, maybe around when their next video comes out, when the hype is up a little more again, maybe we'll check it out. We'll have to see. I do owe you guys a trip there, though, regardless. All right, here we go. Enough Super Chats for now. We're going to jump in. Lana, thank you for a Super Chat. Thank you for the two. Day one, January 15th, 1959. Ooh, even the vibe of this just feels more intense. Every night at midnight since I moved into my father's house, the sound echoes through the forest. That does sound like a like a submarine ping, right? What is what is that actual sound? Is that echolocation of some kind? So isn't that a thing that spiders can't actually, or no, am I wrong? Spiders can't hear. Don't they respond to sound through vibrations? Could that be something similar? Soren, I actually haven't played Oxen Free, and I don't know what Sally faces. I'll have to look into that. I have heard how amazing Oxen Free though is. So maybe I will look into it. I will look into it. Thank you again for the super chat, Soren. That's bats? I could have sworn I read something recently. Like, very, very recently. Yeah, with their hairs. Hold on, let me, let me look it up. Can spider... Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck was that? It was my hair. <laughs> Spiders don't have ears like we do, and many have poor eyesight, but they can sense vibrations. Like those that happen when an unlucky insect touches their web. And instead of eardrums, spiders hear using tiny sensitive hairs that move in response to sounds. So yeah, they don't have ears. So maybe this is like... Again, just throwing it out there. Maybe they use this sound as like a wave to kind of see? I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there. I decided that I will register everything about this sound in a video. I will try to find its origin and what exactly it is. Day three, January 18th, 
Today the sound came back again, but this time I could catch something weird in the camera. Take a look. It's gonna be the eyes. I'm calling it. No Akasa, what's going on? Yup. Yup. See it? See the three? It is certainly not a car since there are no roads in the forest. What could it be? Tomorrow I'll be going to that same spot with hope to find any answers. Oh brother, you silly goose. If you're gonna go, at least don't go alone. Day 4, January 19th, 1959. When I arrived in the fields, I encountered something strange. A police officer was there. I asked the police officer what was going on. He answered me saying that a man disappeared near the fields. He also said to call him if I noticed any suspicious behavior. Day 7, January 22nd, 1959. I woke up today to be pleasured with a vision straight up from hell. As I walked outside, I saw webs covering up the trees everywhere around my house. Yeah, that's my- that's a nightmare for me. A normal spider could not do that amount of webs in one night. Day 11, January 26, 1959. Some nights the sound appears to be farther away. On other nights it appears to be closer. But never as close as it was today. So this thing is definitely- Whatever was making that sound was right outside my house. I immediately got up, took my camera, and ran outside, and what I got... Ooh, wait, hold on. You could kind of see the legs here. And this is definitely three lights. So this thing is definitely producing that noise. Day 22, February 6, 1959. Since that night, I can't stop thinking about that thing. I saw the lights again in the fields, but this time, it was more than one. There were lots of lights, so whatever that thing was, there was more than one. Day 31, February 15, 1959. As I walked through the fields, going deeper into the east side, I found more strange webs. I found something in the woods near the WKVC radio station. A hole, but it didn't seem like it was excavated. It seemed more like an impact of something. I stopped and decided to look inside. All that I remember is that this bright green light came in, and then everything goes black. Fortunately, my camera kept recording after I passed out. The image is completely distorted, but it recorded this strange sound. Day 36th, February 20th, 1959. Um. Huh. Okay, so clearly the green light is that thing that came from space, right? And he was saying that it didn't look like it was a hole that was dug up. It looked like an impact. So I guess that's wherever that thing crashed down into. Interesting that the hole would still be around, though, like that in 1959. You'd think it would be a little more affected. I'd guess if something crashed from space, it wouldn't be a hole like that. It would be a crater. I could be overthinking it a little bit, but yeah, I don't know what that sound was. And it's still glowing. Um... Maybe it- okay, that's true. Maybe these creatures dug it down more to protect it. 
the sound i'm wondering some kind of frequency i wonder if something could come up in a spectrogram when you put that in i'm gonna check the youtube comments after this see if anybody did it already i'm sure somebody did we'll, we'll, let's keep watching Fair, uh, day 36 i'm not the same anymore I can't remember things anymore. I can't think anymore. And it's getting worse. Day 47. Today I looked at the mirror and didn't recognize the person who I was looking at. There is no more taste in food. Sleep just makes me more tired. Yeah, I think he got bit. Caden, thank you so much for the two. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Day 65. They are there, always watching me. Can you see it too? I see them every time I blink, every time I think, every time I sleep. Day 67. This guy's surviving quite a long time though for someone that may have been bitten. The police officer came by to my house today to ask questions about the man's disappearance. But as soon as he entered, I knew what I had to do because my savior said so. Oh, bro. May he rest in peace. Well, I wouldn't even this the person making this doesn't even know what date it is anymore. Okay, um, The mother, this looks like the radio tower. This looks like those circles that circle waves. This looks like it could be a, f a map of the forest. I can't quite tell what this is. Hold on, was that a clearer image when I flickered? No. Don't even got the year anymore, just the day. An axe. Badish man, it does give eight pages vibes. Tonight the forest will burn. don't even know what to i i kind of was with that whole thing up until the end the forest will burn like he was purposely burning the forest oh this here that looked like what played when the, when we heard the sound so the tower is strongly connected Something about the tower. Oh, you know what this could be? This could be the hole where the green light was. That's what this could be. I st I'm pretty confident that this is a map of the forest. Just the shape of it looks similar. The mother. And then I can't tell what this is. This almost looks like it could be a head here. But this almost looks like it could be a house or something. Oh, you think there's a web on the left? Oh, 
I don't know why. It's so hard for me to picture anything in that one. Or a drawing of a spider, perhaps. An analog horror version of a 50s creature film. That's what this feels like with the way that... I, lo I love the feel of this. Like, this is a great way to start the second season. Just this vibe. Even with the music, it does feel very, uh, you know, 50s-ish, I guess. That'd be a cool idea, though. I would like a 50s version of an analog horror creature movie. That'd be cool. You could, like, purposely make it look cheesy, but cool at the same time. Yeah, it is insanely blurry. I do think it is made that blurry, though, just to throw you off on purpose. Um, again, the description said that Blank was arrested in 1959 for the murder of Officer Peter Jackson, or Jackson Peter, which uh, we do know, even in the video, he says that he killed him because the savior told him. So it seems like if you get bit by this thing, you will survive quite a long time. Um, but you almost become brainwashed by this thing. I wonder if that hole is what Jimmy- I did not mean to kick that. I kicked the display. I almost wonder if that, if that hole is what Jimmy found though. Also, Metal Review, what is going on? Long time no see, my friend. Thank you for the three. Um, Serrano Ash, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you for the five. A small Walton Files video dropped. I know I know that I'm waiting for all the Walton Files videos to drop, and then I'm going to do a live stream on, um, on the rest of them. So once they're all out. Because I think, what is, uh, what is he plan on dropping? Like four, four videos total? I think three of them have dropped. I could be wrong. But I want to make sure that all of them have dropped, and then I'm going to do a live stream watching the rest of them. I totally did a big anime spider girl. No comments. I don't think you're wrong, though. Uh, Mike Roch. I just realized that was your name for the $2 super chat before. Great username. Um, and then I did. we did get another super chat just now. Emo Headcrab, thank you for the two. Please cover Sally Face, disturbing and fun game. I've literally never heard of that until until that was just mentioned. Let me just, I just want to look it up to see what it looks like. Oh, I have heard of this. I have seen this before. But I, I've never seen, um, I've never seen gameplay or anything. Um, meta review. I definitely, definitely do remember your. I remember your username very well. I'm Claptrap. If you remember, a long time ago, I got my leg crushed, and I watched you through the hospital. And I'm back after two years. Well, I hope your leg is doing a lot better, and I appreciate you coming back and joining us today. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, I've never seen gameplay from that game ever. I've seen people play it, but. I don't know, for some reason, games that style, I don't usually jump in on right away, but I have been regretful of that in the past. So there is a chance that I will, we will actually check that out and play that at some point. Also, a ton of you, since that was mentioned, are like, please play it, so. Um, all right, though, let's get into the next one. The next one is Surreal Broadcast Art Contest 2004. Oh my god, it's already eight o'clock and I we're not even on season three yet. We're gonna we're gonna start zooming through these a little more, okay? Just cause I don't wanna I don't wanna make this too long and I definitely don't want to divide this into two streams. I'd like to get it all done in one. We're not even halfway through. Yes, the display is okay. Dystopia, thank you for the two. My first stream, love your content. Welcome to the stream. I hope you are enjoying it. Uh Carol, where did you get catnap? So uh my girlfriend brought me Catnap, but I believe she got it on the Poppy Playtime website, like their official, official website. Um, they have like a, uh, an official website where they sell a lot of merch and stuff. That's where I got Dog Day. So I believe that is where, I believe that's where the Catnap's from as well. And they are, um, oh wait, uh, did they release? I know they were planning on releasing a actual scary Catnap. No, it did not release yet. Yeah, this is the website. I'll pull it up on the screen for a second. But um, yeah, that is that is the cat nap. That's the one I have. Poppyplaytime.com. Highly recommend. Their plushies are really good. 
I have the Huggy Wuggy, and now I have the Catnap. All right. Feral Broadcast Art Contest. Description says, after talking with the WXVC TV broadcasting team about the strange transmission, they said that they tried to stop the broadcast, but claimed that something was blocking them from doing so. Interesting. Also, there are two copyrighted songs in this. YouTube gods, I love you, YouTube. Please don't take my stream down. If the stream does get taken down, though, we will start it up again right away. So just keep refreshing my channel and you'll see it come back up. Max Film now playing. It burns. The green light. 20% off this Halloween. Someone made a movie about it, bro? That's crazy. ZK, thank you for becoming a member. Much appreciated. What a title. It burns. There probably is a movie titled that. An Access 13 production, 2004 Halloween special. This year's art contest results. Ooh, I love, 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 love. Let's see. Thank you all for your submissions. Here are the top 10 winners of this year's Halloween art contest. What was that flicker there? Is there anything there? Every time I think, every time I sleep. Wait, hold on. I just keep wanting to check these flickers, that there's no secret messages or anything. 
Yeah, these top five suck compared to the other ones. The other ones went crazy. Savior. Oh my god, are they all the drawings from the last video? I didn't even think about that. Honorable mentions. Yeah, that makes so much sense, actually. There is something waiting for you in the forest. Number one. I'm gonna move this thing. <laughs> yeah, it kicked I kicked it over by accident and it knocked my heater over as well. Sorry. <laughs> Thirteen. Oh. The green light and it looked like there was a leg popping up there. See you next year. Art contest. I like the videos. I love these videos. Like, even though that one wasn't a lot, I still thought it was very entertaining. Yeah, so like they said, um, they tried to stop that broadcast, but they couldn't. So someone was trying to send a message through that, which is very interesting. Oh, the Surreal Broadcast has a Discord server? I'm going to have to look into that. Top comments was, oh, come on. Skeleton Man was way better than Man in the Cabin. Skeleton Man should have won, I agree. All right, let's go on to the next one. Receivers, Surreal Broadcast Receivers, 1996 slash 1967. Those are two very far apart years. Tape found in a deplorable state, but thanks to our team, we managed to improve the image quality to a watchable level. Waterfall Valley University denied the existence of this tape until 2009 after a data leak. All right. Let's go. Uh, 545. Okay, it's 544 AM, Friday, October 11th. And uh, Berksot Archives, Receivers, Educational Film Reel. Recorded in 1967. 6 AM, Morning News. 750 AM, Geography Time, Antarctica. 825 AM, Local Forecast. Mm -hmm. Interesting that they're talking about Antarctica when it's the one place the spiders can't be. Waterfall Valley University, 1960. Receivers, this presentation is for educational purposes only. Oh my God, my shoulder. What is the receiver infection? The receiver infection is a plant disease unique to a special place in Maine. The Berksot Forest region is a plant disease. There's been zero evidence of the receiver infection in other parts of the world. That's why it's so special. The receiver infection is most common on trees. It uses it as its base to connect itself to the vein system of other infected trees. Oh, what? Section 2, how do I identify the infection? I feel like we're learning about a new mechanic here. 
The receiver infection should look like this. The structure of the infection is formed by an unknown black material. The glowing green lights through the structure are its eyes. Oh my god, dude, this looks like this looks like the thing. Um where it said the devil's the devil's um the devil's child or whatever. And remember I was like, what the hell does this thing look like? This is what these lines look like. Yeah, it looks like it's eyes. Interesting that this was made in 67 though, and it's only being brought up now. Like we definitely should have heard of or seen this in other videos. Yeah, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. Oh, maybe what landed split into many parts and attached to different trees. That's a good theory. That would make sense because usually comets or meteors like that don't come in just one piece. They usually split apart. Yeah, for real. They should nerf this mechanic. I think it's a little too OP and I think it's really not good for the meta. It really makes like, like, um, like squirrels and like bears almost unplayable. Like the thing is just too OP and now it has these other receivers to help buff it. Like it just doesn't make sense. It's really bad for the meta. I feel like if enough people tweeted at, at them, they would they would change it for sure. If the receiver infection is detected in your area, an evacuation order will be issued by the local authorities. All residents of the threatened area must evacuate until the zone is confirmed safe. Is this scenario about no. wait? <laughs> Huh? Wait, whoa, 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 what, what just appeared on my screen? If this scenario, watch out for panic screams, unknown lights, green sky. Unknown lights, green sky. What is this, bro? Oh, it's letters. Oh, come on. E, A, and then L? That's unfair. How can a tree contract the receiver infection? Oh, here we go. Cause of the infection. You're not gonna fucking tell me, are you? God damn it. Process of contraction. The process of contraction of the receiver infection is unknown. How to prevent the receiver infection. There's no effective method to prevent it. Section 4. Consequences of the receiver infection. Once the infection fully grows, the veins will start to penetrate the tree. Pause. It will reach its roots and then connect itself to a system of veins of other infected trees. My guess is they all connect underground, but at the end of the day, they all lead back to that initial devil's child. The receiver acts together with the blank. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 you don't. Warning, the following content is just to be viewed by authorized personnel only. Once the blank reaches its target, it will act like tentacles, digging deeper into the victim's fears, memories, regrets. Oh, so this is... Well, I'm guessing when it says it works with something, it works with the thing. And then the thing bites you. And then this is what happens. Ooh, corruption. Good point. Maybe that's why that guy had the axe in that one video, because he was trying to cut down the infection off the trees before it infected the forest. But I guess by then it was too late. Maybe it got into his brain. A recent study shows that human emotions can be, by the unknown process, transformed into energy. And fear is high energy. Mmm. Fear is the emotion that generates the most amount of energy. Blank will create audiovisual hallucinations and will mimic physical sensations too. The 
fear is more genuine when it is felt on the flesh. 99.8% of the victims who are exposed to it die. The other 0.2% wish they had died too. Receiving. After fear builds up, it is transmitted to the forest and received by a receiver. The receiver converts it to energy and sends it into the veins. Providing energy to the shell. I called it, man. The shell makes it a supplement. And that's what causes the green light. Oh, shit. to her development. Oh, dude, this thing is far bigger than we thought. Way bigger. Order now. Do we think that number works? <sighs> I gotta try it or else you guys are gonna call it. Oh, please, 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 please don't be real. Please don't be real. Please don't be a real number. There's no way, right? I didn't call the other number because I think the other number had one one number too many. Please record your message. Chat, the number's not real. Do not call it. Do not call it. It calls some number in Arkansas City. Do not call it. Listen, I called it, okay? I called it. I just played it for you. They were asking me to record some message. I can assure you they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that, okay? Okay. $10 for a pizza. This doesn't look like a like an actual pizza size, though. You know what I mean? Like This looks like a smaller pizza, so I want to say $10 isn't actually too bad for this. receivers i like that video i like that video that added a lot of context into things so basically this thing is feeding on the fear of people in burke saw it so that it be could become stronger makes sense i like that it has motivation it's feeding on fear i like that motivation i like the reason for that it infects your mind causing you to fear more things causing it to control you and in doing that makes the mother stronger i like that a lot i love that okay um Tom Janning, thank you for the 10 bucks. Yes. Oh, that's true. If, yeah, if it's, if it's smart like that, then it could have made the human hands just to freak people out. I, I think that could make sense. Yeah. Ooh, that does make you wonder. They did tell you to set yourself on fire if you get infected, right? Which is a very specific way of dying. So is fire like the weakness to these things? I guess we'll see. Let's get into episode four of season two. We got two more left this season. I want to finish this series today. So let's go through it. Bro. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so real broadcast. Groove Cross or Grove Cross? Groove Cross Annual Festival, which I believe is a neighboring town to Berksot. Oh. Grove Cross is a very closed community, with its population decreasing each year. Many disappearances occur in the region between the months of June and September, so in the summer months. Copy that. Alright, let's go. Let's run it. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, Beyond the Paranormal presents the Mysterious Hut again by Leica here, which is not supposed to exist in c in conjunction with Sunprise. BMN WKKL TV. The following program is requested by the Grove Cross Council. Community Hour, nineteen eighty nine, which is the same year as that incident where they were coming from the fields. Today's topic. Grove Cross Annual Festival. No, there's only three seasons. So after this video, we got six videos left. We're technically... Five. Part 1, Festival Preparations. The Festival Preparations are being conducted by the Grove Cross's church priest, Oliver Greenshine. The festival date remains as July 30th, 1989. July 30th, 1989. What was the date of that other incident? Oh my God, why can't I? Oh, I was hitting the wrong one. Um, The date of the 1989 incident was August 12th. Okay. We're just curious. So this is shortly before that big incident. The offering is being treated. Oh, huh? Wait, the festival date remains as July 30, 1989. The offering is being treated under the right conditions. The offering. July 3rd, 1989, 2.23 AM. Oh, wait, this makes sense. If you're infected, your eyes probably glow too. Ah. Makes sense, because you're providing... If your brain is infected and you're in fear, you're providing that energy, that green energy that it wants. This makes sense. Uh, Lily, thank you so much for being a member for two months. Hey, Marcus, me and my fiance really love your videos. I appreciate that. I'm happy that you guys can enjoy them. I think it's always cool when, like, when couples watch them together. I think that's awesome. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Uh, prepare your mind. All residents of Grove Cross are required to watch every day between July 23rd to July 30th. 45 minutes of the tape produced by the company Lego Home Video, the guide for connection. Oh my god, it's like trying to get a mass amount of- Oh my god. So did this festival cause like a mass- A massive amount of energy to be gained by the mother and that's why the mother attacks on August 12th? That's why they just straight up start attacking- Burke saw it because that would make sense because this seems like that like a home video is definitely a part of like some kind of cult thing that's boosting up you know trying to boost the the thing's energy mm. good night millie thank you for coming through symbol of connection the sharp knife make the symbol of connection on the palm of your right. All right, you got to be infected or dumb as nails to actually do this, bro. Come on, bro. With a sharp knife, you could have been like, oh, take a sharpie. Not nah, a sharp knife, brother. Yeah, it's giving cult. Yeah, this was one of the art entries, right? The circles. Always remember, if you're feeling fear, remorse, and guilt, remember, you are a survivor. You are worthy to serve him. Remember our Savior's real intentions. So the Savior... So there's a mother, but the Savior's a him? 
are there two are the savior and the mother two different things then crimson labs thank you for the five hello first time donating i've been watching your channel for a little bit but i really love your voice and how you're how you make your theories thank you so much crimson labs i appreciate that thank you so so that was a, i really appreciate that compliment on my voice thank you thank you is the savior her son that could be true she could be using energy to make her stronger to then protect her son and oh she could be the devil she could be the devil and the devil's son is that egg thing big braining we're big braining chat remember savior's real intentions salvation is almost complete and i'm not done reading go back Soon everything will be gone. Part 3 Offering Details James Hutt, age 27. James Hutt is a TV presenter of a popular show called Beyond the Paranormal. It was discovered that all of James's paranormal encounters were false and staged. But at this festival, James will experience true fear. 12.09 a.m. That's a sick shot of the moon, though. Memorial for all those who were offered lost their lives in previous festivals. Oh my god, so they have this isn't the first one. Jennifer Smith, 46, Waterfall Valley, 1921 to 1967. Howard P, age 35, hometown Berksaw, 1941 to 1976. Mike O, age 30, Mitch Falls. These are names from the art pieces. 59 to 89. Thomas L, age 24, hometown Berksaw, 1965 to 1989. Jackson Peter, age 46, 1913 to 1959. Them. in the praise of them that said correction the date of the festival has been changed new date august 12th <sighs> yep it's straight up oh so okay so that might my, my my theory may not even be true then yeah that's it for that video by the way it just shows the surreal broadcast outro so then my theory might not even be true. It wasn't like a, the festival's not an energy booster for it. I mean, it is, but they weren't energy boosting for the 1989 event. There's it, That's just how the festival works, I guess. Like, they probably infect a mass amount of people, right? And then they send out the things, like the smaller spiders, smaller, I mean, like the normal sized ones. They send out the spiders to then put everyone in fear which creates like a mass of a, a mass amount of energy and feeds mama and by also feeding mama you feed the savior was it every 15 years um well no one was in f well they said that someone died in 59 and then this one's happening in 89. No, it, it's then there was one person that died in 67. Someone died in 76. I don't think there's set years in between. I think it's almost random or maybe yearly. Oh, it's annual. Yeah, it says Grove Cross Annual Festival. Hmm. 
I'm well, just reading the comments. I'm trying. I like sometimes the comments on 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 the view, YouTube videos usually point something out. Uh, the mass panic was was what they were referencing in this one. Like they how they said that. Oh, just kidding. The annual festival is on August twelfth. That's when the mass panic was. So this was like them preparing for the event that would cause the mass panic, and that caused. The mother's awakening. Uh, but let's go into the next one. The next one is the finale of season two, and it's called Silent Forest 2000. Many, many residents near Berksall Forest feeling tremors and hearing strange sounds coming from the forest at the late hours of night. Silent Forest is a surveillance company that was bought and closed by an unknown company in 1999. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Season 2 finale, baby. Then after this, we only have like four videos left, really. Silent Forest Surveillance System 2000. Path A, Old Cabin, Conwin Cove Lake. Okay, so these are these are forest camera logs. All occurring after midnight. On December 29th, 2000. How many vids total? There's 14 vids total in a teaser. Right now this is video 10. Alright, so... This is 34 minutes after midnight on path A, 20%, 40%, What is that? Okay, we got some, these look like webs, right? I don't think these are receivers, though. Path A, receiver zero, servant zero, nests two. So those are nests. Old cabin. One forty five AM. Oh hell no. It's right here, bro. Oh, here we go, receiver. That's a receiver. Receivers one, servants one, so it counted that thing and it calls it a servant. Okay, new name, servant. Two oh two AM Some kind of light here and here. Oh. Receiver? Nest? Nest? Oh, that might be a nest back there too. So it looks like this stuff is extending out of the restricted area now. A servant's one, nest three, yeah. So a servant must have hit the camera. Uh, 
Uh, Yuki, what do I use for recording? I use OBS Studio to record. And I use a Logitech webcam. BJP87 Tower. That's a nest. And it's glowing green. Servants 24. You're telling me there's up to 24 per nest? Green zone. Two servants, four nests. I didn't like that noise. Location, did you see that? It said location the hive. Oh, so this might be by the, the company that's doing this might be the cult. Cause how, how would they have a camera in the hive, bro? And that looks like, this looks like the devil's child, which again, we think is the savior. That's new. Look, it's bu it's bugging out the dates on the camera too. Entry green zone receivers unknown servants unknown nests unknown. Yeah, I'm guessing that might be mother. Is that it? Yep. That's it. All right, W video. I really like the formatting on that. I know usually security cameras ain't nothing new, but I like that the security camera like detected how much there was of everything and like some stuff disappeared, some stuff hit the camera. We got to see what the hive looked like a tiny, tiny bit. Hmm. Oh, I hate that. So someone points it out. Remember when something hit the camera? You could see it jump past the camera. Yeah, that gives spider just a little bit. A small one probably, but... Yeah. Uh, what does your tattoo mean? This one, that is the Immortal Marcus logo. See, that's the E, and then that's the M. That's all it means. I just got tatted on me. Yeah, I did not like that crossing over the camera. All right.
um i immediately just because now stream is going on two and a half hours god damn and i started like five minutes early um yeah we have one two three four videos left three of them are seven minutes long and one of them is five minutes long Yeah, so we're just going to run them through. And then we have the finale teaser. All right. Um, the description for this one is... Okay, the name of this one is Culture and History 1987. The cabin man legend got so popular during the, six, during the 60s in the Bergsalt region that Sunprise had to close Camp B because of the disappearance of visitors near that area. Even today, people who pass by the Berksalt Forest at night claim to see bright green eyes in the darkness and hear the sounds of branches crunching. That's interesting. So the cabin man became a legend after what happened. And we learned about the cabin man, you know, the guy that he heard the noises, he was documenting it. Eventually, we theorized that he got bit and then ended up attacking um, the police officer. So he, that became like a legend. And... um they had to close campsite B. That's why campsite B closed was because the dis disappearance of visitors nearby. So that makes you almost wonder if that guy was like hurting more than just a police officer then. Uh, Snowflower, welcome back. Please, if you could play Voices of the Void, great game. Love dumb random stuff. Well, that's the game for you. Voices of the Void. I will look it up and keep it as a tab so I can check it out after stream. Voices of the Void game. All right, I have it tabbed, so I'll check it out after. I appreciate the recommendation, though, Snowflower. Thank you. And Galaxy Starlight, thank you for the $2. Hi, Marcus. Love the streams and currently sick. Good night. I hope that you get better. I appreciate your support so, so much, but I definitely hope you feel better soon. I'm sorry to hear that you're sick. It seems to be sick season right now. A lot of people are getting sick, but I hope you feel better. All right, here we go. Serial Broadcast 1989. Oh, wait, no, what? Oh, I'm on a different tab, my bad. Uh, Serial Broadcast Culture and History. Here we go. After this video, we got three videos left. Culture and History, the Berksaw Culture and History Guide, produced by the Berksaw Public Library. Menu. 1950 to 1960-1960-1970. Ooh, the murder of Officer Jackson Peter, the cabin man legend, foundation of Berksot, the tourism boom, creation of Sunprise, the disappearances of Jennifer Smith. I feel like Jennifer Smith was mentioned in an earlier video. That name sounds familiar. I think she was one of the one of the artists in the art contest and one of the victims. No, this stream will be available for everyone when it's over. The Cabin Man is a legend native to the Berksalt region. Not much is known about the legend's origin, but it is known that it surged during the late 50s and early 60s. The legend describes a male figure covered in branches with bright green eyes that lives in a cabin in the heart of the Berksalt forest. The cabman would leave his cabin every night to search for kids that may have lost themselves in the forest. Parents would tell this legend to their children to discourage them from going to the forest. Actually, not a bad idea. With the sudden increase in the forest popularity during the 1960s, the many sightings of the cabin man started to appear. They say that whoever camps in a specific location in the forest is taken by the cabin man. Which, again, I called this Camp B was in the restricted area because the restricted area was the right side of the camp. I have played Chuchu Charles, the, the videos on the channel. I really like that game, actually. I thought it was very good.
can't be 12.03 a.m. Attention to the sounds coming from the forest. Damn, okay, three servants in that. <laughs> if the sky turns green, hide immediately. The green light. Could you imagine going camping and this happens? No, 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 we're not playing that. Oh, that looks like a man standing there. These look like legs. Was the shot before that? Just a very bright green light. A cabin. Five forty three AM. See my only confusing thing about this is then who is the cabin man? I would think it's the guy that we learned about in the video, but they said he got arrested because he killed the police officer. Unless this is before he got arrested. Oh, you see that hole in the ground? The connected long for salvation. Oh, he has a whole group of people that follow him. Well, whoever made that video is definitely dead. The videographer stepped on a twig for real oh and that's the end of that one okay um yeah i think it's interesting that that guy has like twigs and stuff like sticking out of him it makes me wonder if he's like over infected as opposed to like a regular infected person because they always show like something growing it's like growing around your brain so i wonder if it just continued to grow out of him eventually you know what i mean Like, that kind of makes sense to me. What do we think, chat? Spider legs growing? Oh, do you think? No. I was going to say, maybe the extremely infected people are spiders. Because think about it, that would make sense. Because the people, when they get infected, their eyes glow too. So if they grew into these like giant spider-like creatures. That's, a, that's not a bad, that's not a bad idea. 
All right, let's jump into the next one, which is Surreal Broadcast Marine Research Report. Uh, Ugrace Coast is located 50 miles from Berksaw. The same weather event had already occurred in the years 73, 1960, 1947, 1934, and 1921. All in August. Um, so whoever I told um, that I don't think it's like a year thing, it definitely is. It's every 13 years. Every 13 years, this seems, whatever this event is, seems to happen. But that isn't... But the event would then occur in 86, and this time it happened in 89. So I'm a little confused on that part. No, the spiders are definitely the servants, for sure. The spiders are definitely the servants. The question is that are the people... Um what turn into servants or are the spiders like their own separate creatures wait no no because because there are nests and the spiders come out of the nests right so they can't be people i don't know let's keep watching caitlin autumn thank you for the thank you for the super chat i appreciate it absolutely love your channel thank you thank you is that the um is that the owl from avatar the last airbender by the way like the library owl. That dude's cool. MMRC. He's actually scary, but he's cool. Cool character. Is this going to be for members? No. Marine. Main Marine Research Center, 1986. Project Report 2, August 1986. Project details, project conclusion, recovered footage. Oh yeah, we gonna see some footage, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Location, Ugrace Coast, Maine. So it's over 50 miles away from Berksaw, apparently. Members, William L., Robert H., Jonas W. Project objectives, to study the marine plants and animal life present in the Ugrace Coast and its peculiar weather patterns. Properties, sorry. Project conclusions. General conclusion, the race coast presents a strange lack of marine animal life. This might be linked to local weather event known by the locals as the opening. The unstable climate in the region has severely affected the city's population. Holy... A drastic reduction in the population can be observed every 13 years since the city was founded in August 1921. Dude. That's crazy. And nobody was like, wait, something's off here. Are we talking about human population or marine life? 
population decreases correctly consistent with the peaks of severe weather during years 1921 and 86. Copperhead, thank you for the 25. It appears that I'm a little late to the stream, but still enjoy watching. Copperhead, don't worry. The stream will be up in public for everybody after it's over. So you can go back and watch whatever you missed. Recovered footage. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Unfortunately, the three members of the Ugrace project were reported missing on August 25th, 1986 and later declared dead. The video footage recovered from the Ugrace project was sent back to MMRC. The following is the comp compression of more than 48 hours of footage recovered from the tapes left by the project crew for investigational purpose. Grace Coast, August 25th. Hi, Brianna. Welcome in. It's okay if you're late. The stream will be available for everybody when it's done. Don't worry. Seems fine for now. Oh my god, dude. Oh, Remember what? the uh, the picture of the lighthouse and there were three people under it with glowing eyes? And there's three people in this video that went missing near the coast. It is expected the development of heavy fog tonight. Take extreme caution when driving around Ingris Coast within the next hours. <laughs> Something about intense fog, I think. opening it happens each 13 years the passage between worlds between our world and theirs whoa what the connection That is very interesting. Yeah, Crazy Cat, I was thinking the same thing. So it's not alien, but it's extra dimensional. Yeah, it's like traveling between different worlds. Yes, yeah, so 
Well, I'm confused because it because they're talking about the three researchers, right? But then they show there's so many people here. So these people came out of the opening. So when people go missing, are they actually going into the opening? Because if that population drastically decreases, they have to go somewhere, right? And I thought that they would die or maybe get taken by the servants, but maybe they're going through this portal. Like this portal opens in the sky and just takes everyone in it, in its view. That's that's why there's no bodies. Yeah. Interesting. Wow, that was a totally different jump in like what I thought that would have been. And yeah, then there's just the outro. Huh. Oh, someone commented that fog people are a real thing in Maine. It's a documented phenomena. That's actually kind of cool. I really liked how they showed the portal. I didn't think that they would. Or the opening, sorry. All right, two more videos left. Two more left, so we're going to try to get through them. It's already super late. I still got to eat dinner. You guys got to go live and exist. So let's finish this up. Two videos left, two videos left, two videos and then a teaser technically. This one is called Architecture Demonstration, 1995. Several people reported strange smells coming from the tower and sounds of something struggling to move inside of it. The only way to enter the inside of the tower is by a flight of stairs, which is located on its back, which almost no one had access to. Elemental Architecture Educational Videos. Groove Cross Clock Tower. In this tape, you're going to find History Tower Blueprint. Exclusive photos and videos. Brief history. The creator learned 3D modeling to make this video. Really? The clock tower began construction in 1985 and was completed in 1988. Its construction cost around $2,000 to $3,000. But some sources suggest that it cost much more than that. I'd guess it would cost more than that. Okay, like, there's no way, right? I'm over. I'm overthinking this. Hold on. What's with this? Why is that? <laughs> why does that kind of look like a spider leg sticking out? Am I overthinking that a bit? Same thing here. This looks like something's blurred right here too. Like I know his face is blurred, but something else is blurred here. In 1989, priest Oliver Greenshine called it the symbol of Grove Cross culture and traditions. And we know that Grove Cross is a little sketchy because of their festival. Ruth, thank you for the MX-50! Not Marcus telling us to go touch grass. I mean... Me included, I have to. To be fair. We should all go touch grass. Collectively together. Tomorrow, I want everybody to go outside when they wake up. Before you shower, go outside, touch that grass a little bit for like a good five seconds, then go right back inside and never come out again. Among the many talented personnel working on the construction of the tower, three names stand out. Mike Oliver, Thomas Limer, and Wagner Hutt. That, Hutt, that last name, Hutt, is familiar. Wasn't it like James Hutt or something that they were going to sacrifice that year? This tower was only possible by the hard work and sacrifice of many dedicated people and sacrifice. 
I have grassophobia. That's fair. Tower exterior blueprint. No, not Jabba the Hut. 3D visualization, not to scale. <laughs> this is cool, I like this. 20 feet, 20 feet, 110 feet. was designed by Mike Oliver. Shout out my boy Mike. Tower was designed by Matt Williams. Oh, Mike O. Remains disposal window. There it is. There it is. July 15th, 1989. So this is shortly before the, the incident. Right after 12 or midnight. At midnight, sorry. Interior blueprint. Yeah, let me see the inside of this thing. Did lightning just strike the tower? Lifting cable. Offering cage. Oh my god, it's literally a giant. That's insane. It's just it's just a cover up for an offering. It connects the village with the hive. And that's why they said that they have specific offerings. It needs to be fed regularly. Or else plague and death will take over the village. That's so cool.
Oh my god. Did you see how big they were? Nah, they cooked. Oh, hold, this is the last one. <sighs> All right, gang, let's finish it up. Surreal broadcast, animal bite emergency 1981. An unusual smell of rotting meat can be found in several areas of the forest along with what appears to be bones. Staff at the Santa Olivia, at, staff at the Santa Olivia Hospital have been seen in these areas several times. Saint Olivia Animal Bite Emergency by Dr. Marcus. Saint Olivia Hospital has been receiving several cases of patients with a specific animal bite. The animal is currently unknown. This tape was produced to inform the population of the Berksart region about the danger of this animal bite and what to do in case of being bitten. The following is a list of prevention tips you can use to prevent encounters with the animal. Prevention tips. Do not enter dark places at late hours of the night, especially alone. If you find a large concentration of clothes around an isolated area, please leave the place and call the authorities. If you feel a sudden feeling of paranoia and that something is watching you, hide it until the feeling goes away. Look at the spiders, bro. stages the following will showcase the four stages the victim will experience after being bitten After being bitten, three dark bubbles will rise from the bitten area, causing a lot of pain to the victim. Kind of looking like the eyes there. Stage 2. Minutes after the bite, the poison storage inside the bubbles begins to spread through the entire body. I say I might as well just cut it off. Stage 3. The body will start to decay and rot while the victim is still alive, reducing flesh to ashes. That's why only clothes are left. Stage four, at this stage, the infection has replaced most of the organs. The body will swell and end in a, end in a what? The best you can do is isolate yourself to prevent your remains from con contaminating the vegetation. Medical research expedition recorded by Dr. Marcus Greatfields Berksot.
Oh, you can, oh my god, the pinging sound. The following are several examples of victims of this bite between 1970 and 1981. Oh, dude, that body's like stuck to a tree or in a tree. Brian Baxter, missing since January 1981. Natalie Newman, missing since December 1979. Jimmy Williams. Missing since February 1974. That was the kid, right? Wait, I want a better look. I want a better look. Damn, man. It's like the bodies when we see them get more detailed, but I want like, I want a close up detailed look at one of these things, you know? It's still fire though. And then he wakes up. What is kind of interesting, because that's, Similar to what happened to the cabin guy, he said he saw a light, passed out, and then he woke up the next day and then started feeling different. Oh, now the camera is cracked. I ain't gotta get a new lens. Don't worry guys, I'm okay. Something just bit me. Oh, you're cooked. Oh, you are so cooked, brother. The victim will tremble in pain as the infection consumes it from the inside. And all right, now, oh, so fun fact on their channel, they do have a playlist with the soundtrack for the series. The last final video, this is only two minutes long and it's a teaser for the finale that we never got. If you don't know why there isn't an ending to this series, I will mention it right after we finish watching this teaser.
Yep, the circle symbol. It looks like a wheel. All right, and that's it. That is it. That is the last video that was posted on the channel two years ago. And the series has sadly officially been canceled since then. Uh, I went over this earlier before we even started, but I will again. Uh, they made a statement pretty much saying um, Due to the severe lack of content and news about surreal broadcast and its finale over the last year I don't think it is surprising to state that the finale is officially canceled I'm no longer part of the analog horror community neither as a consumer nor a creator The reasons that led to this are personal and of little significance That said many thanks to everyone who joined the community and contributed to this real broadcast project And there does seem to be like a few other like little articles here that you could check out that can dive a bit deeper. Maybe we'll go over them another time, but I just want to wrap this stream up for now. Um, it is very sad that we will never get, I guess, an official ending to Surreal Broadcast. I can only assume that all of these videos were leading up to some mass event about the savior and the mother and maybe them coming out and... I don't know unleashing hell on earth at one point they said at like eventually everything will be gone so i imagine them maybe like wiping the planet and starting a new maybe i'm not even too sure then there's the whole thing about like you know that what looked like a portal the opening i'm not sure how the opening necessarily connects with the savior and whatnot or what the goal was with that it's definitely been very interesting um but i really enjoyed that series it, I thought it was really good. It's very, again, it's very sad that um, we'll never get a, a finale to it. Um, but I think it's great work. I think it's a great piece that hopefully will remain on the internet forever. I do recommend you guys go and watch it for yourselves. Look through the comments. I There's definitely some stuff I missed. I'm sure there was a couple of flash frames. Like I said, there's the whole community tab that has stuff in it that you could check out. I definitely recommend you doing that. Crazy Cat, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it. Happy two months. Great stream. Sad it didn't finish fully. Yes. Very sad. But I respect the creator. I don't know what the reasons are. Like they said, they're personal and of little significance. So we have to respect the creator um, and just appreciate the work that they did create, which is very, very nice. Um, and yeah, Memory Star, thank you for the five. I'm happy I was able to watch the stream on my birthday. Happy birthday, Memory Star. Thank you for being here on your birthday. I hope it was a good I hope it was a good end, uh, end to your birthday. Um, but thank you all so so much for coming through today. Uh, I'm gonna read a few more super chats before we head off, just because I don't wanna I don't wanna miss too many. I know I'm definitely doomed to miss a few because you guys were showing so so much love today. But I just want everybody to know that I appreciate you guys coming to the stream. We had between um, 15 and or 1,500 and 2,000 people throughout the entire stream, which is absolutely awesome. I think we peaked at like 2,013 or something like that. I'll have to check later. But I appreciate it. I appreciate all the super chats and everything. Thank you guys so, so much. A new analog horror video will be out very soon. I'm working on it. I'm hoping to get it out Thursday, the latest. And we shall see. Uh, but I'm going to finish reading these super chats. And then I'm going to go get some dinner. And probably 
run a little Fortnite because the new Legend of Korra skin dropped and I need the Legend of Korra on Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? I actually just started watching Legend of Korra. I never watched it when I was younger. I watched Avatar The Last Airbender the whole thing when I was younger, but I never gave Korra a chance. And now I just finished season two of Korra and I'm actually interested. So now I'm going to watch season three and four, but I need the Fortnite skin regardless. Um, I don't know what series we're going to go over next on live. We'll have to see. But um, the video that I am making next is a little bit of a surprise. I teased it on Twitter a few weeks ago. So if you guys want to go and stalk my Twitter to find out what it is, you'll be able to see it. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone again so much for coming through today. I'm going to finish reading off these super chats. Uh, Nalis, thank you so much for the five months. The spider, spider do get a little quirky at night. I mean, they do. That's when they come out at night to attack me is at night. Liar, liar, pets on fire. <laughs> Thank you for the five. So that's where spider-man came from. I Hope that's not where he came from because those are some big terrifying spiders Although I would deal with those big terrifying spiders if when they bit me I became spider-man That's the only time I would deal with a spider like willingly Um, Kaylin autumn, thank you again for the two dollar super chat. I Know I read through a good amount of these when they were coming out ZK, thank you for becoming a member. Actually, I think I might have gotten all of them. Nixon Phoenix, thank you for, for becoming a member. Caroline said he sounded like a Dollar Tree version of Pennywise. Oh, I guess because it messes with your head with the fear and everything. That is true. Yeah, feeds off feeding off of fear. I never thought of that. That's a good point. That is a lot like Pennywise, right? Um, Lana again. Thank you for all the super chats. Skis, thank you for the two dollars super chat. Again, shout out to Marcus Sheeran for the super chats. I actually think I got a good majority of them. Hold on, let me scroll down. I know there were some at the beginning of the stream I didn't get. Next is KT. Thank you for becoming a member. Chrissy, I thank you for the seven months. Mia Grace, thank you for the two dollars super chat. Oh, and Memory Star did donate earlier with the super chat. Thank you again, Memory Star. I appreciate the earlier super chat as well. Lana with another five earlier. Appreciate your donos every stream. Thank you. Mark Sheeran also uh, donated earlier. Thank you for the five. I hope I did make your day better with the stream. Um, Noir Lazuli. Oh, I did. I did answer that one earlier. Hank, the best assassin. Thank you for coming to remember. Do you want to sit? Thank you always for your super chats. Thank you for the two. Try not to go to bed at 4 a.m. It's bad for you. I actually did. I actually do think I got them all. I hope I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm looking through them. I, unless I missed like maybe one somewhere, but I don't think I did. Darkon, thank you for the for the gifting a membership. I'm kind of sleepy. Thank you for the membership. The fish army is still stuck. I'm leaving them there to die. Evil Lucius, thank you for becoming a member as well. And yeah, yep. I think I got all of them at after that. All right. Thank you guys again so much for coming through the stream. I appreciate it so, so much. We'll be streaming again probably, I want to say, towards the end of the week. I don't want to wait till next week to stream. But I don't know a date necessarily. Join the Discord to be fully updated. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do some updates and some little bantering on both of those as well. And yeah, new video out Thursday, hopefully. And also don't forget to get your gamer subs if you're interested. Link is in the description down below. Use Cody Mortal, get 10% off. They have a ton of great flavors. I have a new one coming in. I can't wait to show it on stream. And they also have ramen. They have some tea and stuff like that. Shan has tried the tea. Shan, Shan liked the tea. So, and I know a lot of people that have had the gamer subs and bought it have really enjoyed it. So don't just take my word for it. Take everybody else's as well. And all right, guys, thank you so much for coming to you today, and I will see you next time. Peace.